back. Uh, today we will have uh, a different topic uh, in mathematics. It's kind of something huge a little bit, you know, and we will talk about it. Because the people know from the beginning, we know one plus one equal what two, and when you come, and then the message just keep going, keep going and decreasing, and getting a little bit uh, tricky or difficult or something. But you know, when you follow the process, the, it will be easy to do so. I have something called determinant. Determinant. And then I say here, determinant of matrix. A uh, determinant of matrix, uh, they say the, the, the determinant of matrix is a number that is special, defined only for a square of matrix. You know, we have some something bigger, and the way we use it, we use it in, um, when you see, I just need this three to be known, when you see the, the determinant, it will help you for the high and huge, like somebody's doing accounting and somebody doing some big stuff, financial, you know, uh, and also the people who can use it in um, uh, social science, you grab it and everything, you know, you can use it for that. And also determinant here, the definition is here. Determinant are the mathematical object that are very useful in analysis and solution of the system of linear equations. That is the definition of the determinant. When I say determinant, what is the determinant? You have to say this word there. Uh, and also, the determinant also have wide application in engineering, science, economics, and uh, also social science as well. Let us now study about determinant. Determinant. Um, I have, I have, um, if I just say I have this, uh, we you, usually we do this determinant, determinant, that's mean determinant. I have two by two matrix. We have something called two by two matrix, and also we have three by three matrix, and we have uh, four by four, uh, and so on, four by four matrix, four four by four matrix. Those, we use them, and you will see it. When we know these, then the three and four, even in five, five, five by five, we have five by five matrix. This one, um, you know, um, let us just say, let us say this is A1, and this is A2, this is A3, and this is A4. Let us see how we can solve this. It's just something you can put it in uh, between brackets. Uh, the determinant, we just use it as this. Uh, let us see if I need to solve this problem here. It will be equal to, as we know, multiplication across in, crossing multiplication. A crossing multiplication is like this, a crossing multiplication. Now, usually you just start from upper left to lower right, and that will be in your right, your left side. A1 would be A1 A times A4 minus, you have to come with minus, minus A2, A2, A3. This if I say solve this problem, this the uh, determinant, then you will solve it in this way. If it's something you can do, you can do it on that way. Now it's A, A, A1 A, uh, times A4 and A2 times A3. That's minus. This is the way we can solve the determinant. But in uh, alphabet, you, we cannot get it well right. But let us do, uh, let us do, uh, let us do in numbers. If I have numbers here, if I have numbers, detect. I have three here, and I have five here, and I have, uh, let me just say, 
I have three and four, four here, and that is three. Let me just say it. Um, let me just switch it like this. Let me just say this four and th four and five, and then three and three. Oh, see, the one I just need to get it here is just in numbers to know by numbers. I don't know which number I have here, but let's, let's just do this. Um, let us <coughs> I try to let you guys get an understanding of this one to get understand how it works. Uh, <coughs> it will be equal to this is two by two metric, guys. When I say this is two by two metrics, why two by two? Matrix is two by two, one, two, one, two, two by two metrics. And also, we'll see the three by three matrix in a uh, short time. In uh, short time, we'll see that now. <coughs> let me just switch this, it will be um, five, will be here actually. Let us say five here, and that this is uh, four, and this is three, three. Because I just choose the two numbers lower, the same. But it's fine. Now, <coughs> we will multiply upper left to lower right. That would be 5, that is 3. Minus, that is law, guys. It's law. Minus 4, 4 times 3. 4 times 3. When you see that this one, 5 times 3 will be 15 here, minus, and then 4 times 3 will be 12. And then when I just do the regular math, regular math of elementary school, of second grade, we can just, uh, 15, uh, 15 minus 12 equal 3. That is determinant. The answer there is 3. That is 2 by 2 metric, guys. I hope each one of you guys can do this, can solve it. They are showing by alphabet. And then you can do it by the numbers. Uh, that is determined two by two metrics. Let us say three by three metrics. Three by three metrics. Three by three. I have <coughs> A1, A2, A3, A4, A5, <coughs> A6, A7, a eight a nine. That is nine. Three by three metrics it will be nine. Because two by two it has to be four. When I say two by two, that like the matrix it has to be two. Uh, that uh, uh, bracket it has to be four numbers. And if I say three by three, it has to be nine. Three times three is nine. The numbers has to be nine here. When I say four by four matrix, it has to be sixteen. Or when I say five by five matrix or 5 by 5 metrics, it has to be 25 numbers there. Now, here, what we see is the test determinant. Determinant, that is when we have a big things, make it smaller. Big thing, make it smaller and smaller, and we can solve it. Like today, when you have something, you cannot just take a bread, a piece of bread and just put it in your mouth at one time. You have to take it step by step to get that until when you uh, you will finish that, or when you have a meat, you can just not eat the meat in the same time or something. You just do it step by step. Right here, the determinant three by three matrix, it will be like this. When I say I will take a one, now I will go with the line one. I will take equal to a one will be outside the bracket. I need to condense this, guys. When I take A1, that is mean A1, this line, and this line will go away. This two line will go away. You see? That will leave me with A5, will leave me with A5, and A6, A8, A9. You see? Now I condense that from 3 to 2 by 2 matrix. And we know how to solve the 2 by 2 matrix. We know that. 
Now, and also in three by three metrics, I need each one of you guys to know this. Uh, this one. I have positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive. See that guys? That's the way and keep it four by four matrix. You see that go by negative, positive, negative. That thing you have to note. When you start with positive, the second one will be negative. And then the third one will be positive again. Like that. And fourth one will be negative. Like that. And we'll know it now here. In this alphabet here. Now, this is negative. Let us take two. I took one, it's outside. Let me took A2. A2 outside here. And then I'll condense. This A2, this line, and this line will go away. You see? These two lines will go away. And will leave me with A4. A4. A. A4, A6. A6. And that will leave me with A7. A7. And A. Uh, A9. Close the bracket. Now, we finish with this. Now we condense it. Look, we get two by two metric. Three by three, we condense it now, make it two by two metric. Now, um, let us go to A3. It will be positive now. This is ne positive, negative, positive. Now this is positive. Positive, A3. A3 outside. And now, A3, this one here. This one, I take A3, then the line has A3. It has to go away. Vertical and, and, uh, and uh, look, it, here, they have to go away like this. You know, see, the not, this line can go away and this line can go away. Because any place has three, it has to go away. We don't need to mention that anymore. Now when we have this gone away, then I have A4. Leave me with A4, 